Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and today we are painting Conclave of Shadows from Court of the Dead Mourner's Call, the first of the flesh faction. First off, the priming. So primed brown from the bottom, that looks kind of red here um, because the base is showing through, and white from the top. The base coat is this dragon red. It's my first time using it, so normally I'd go two to one um, color to medium, but I actually ended up going one to one uh, to get it thin enough to shoot, and it shot just fine. So I really do love this base. It's just blood and guts and gore, and wow, what a great color um, to complement <laughs> this base. So moving on. Uh, for the hood, I'm going with blue to fit my color scheme across all the figs. And it was important to find a blue that would not be purple. So, as you can see, there's some overspray on the hood especially. Um, but despite that, with this blue, it doesn't look that purple, which is just great. Alright, so moving on. Uh, now here, I'm going to pick out the bone. Now, in my mind, I, I would love to... Picking out, pick out the intestines and bones in the base and all of this blood and guts and gore. But my channel is Board Game Base Coats, so just a hint of other things. Um, as you can see, I almost just dry brush the face, which is fine. Now, a setting change. So uh, hopefully this will make my images look a lot crisper. Great. Moving on. Uh, for the clothes and blood and guts, and as I was saying, um, I really just want to pick out some things. So all I did here was just kind of blend out this bottom part down into the guts just to get a slight tonal change. Uh, nothing too fantastic. And that wrapped to that. Moving on. Uh, for the dagger, just very simple. A uh, little bit of this um, metal color. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I really was thinking of going very, very shiny uh, with it to really make it stand out, but that's okay. Uh, this does a good job. Then, moving on, we're going to go ahead and wash uh, pretty much the entire figure except for the cape with this strong tone. And I was kind of concerned that it might make the red uh, orange, uh, but no, um, when I tested it out, it just made it look gross and disgusting, which is perfect. <laughs> uh, so moving on then to washing the hood. Now, as you can see my palette, I tested this I was testing a bunch of things um, as far as washes go. And this one to one is great. It really evens out, especially brush strokes, fills in some of the holes in my painting. So I'm really a huge fan of these inks. Now then, another bonus. I went back to my spirit faction. I did not like the white, you know, ghost stuff coming off. So, but I didn't really know what color to paint them. And then I was looking at the board game components and thought, well, why don't I make it match the Ethereum? And wow, look at that. On the left was with the light blue and the right is the white. So fixed. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and finish off our flesh, our flesh faction fig with my usual varnishing. Uh, again, one to one. And as ever, three coats of varnish uh, for these figs because they are gaming figs. I paint gaming figs. And there we go very shiny and it makes those guts look awesome so uh, moving to our last step which is the mat uh, we've got to mat out the cape and uh, I always put two coats of this matte gloss uh, and it's still a bit shiny here but it will dry out just fine and with that um, we just have one more flesh faction fig to finish and then the big guys so let's check out the lineup there we go Thanks a lot for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Bye.